What's up, people? Mark Jack 79 here, and today we got some Mario action. Man, I tell you what, I took a random trip to GameStop just to see what kind of deals they had on Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Oh, and look what I found. Oh, man. The Super Mario Odyssey Mario with Cappy action figure World of Nintendo. It just came out. So excited, man. I was waiting for this one. All right, without further ado, bam, bam, bam. Bam! <laughs> Let's get started. All right, so we got the uh, box here. What a Nintendo! We got some uh, price tags here, eleven ninety ninety nine. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off. I don't know what what happened with the factory or if this was a return or what, man. But uh, but I actually ended up getting a discount off of this figure because, uh, like I said, you see these staples here. I was like, uh, can I get a little bit of percentage off of this figure since it's kind of damaged a little bit with the uh, packaging? And the manager there was like, yeah, sure. So she gave me 20 20 percent off. So I actually ended up getting this figure for eight bucks. Can't beat that. Yeah. All right. So we have Mario with Cappy, Super Mario Odyssey accessory included. Cappy right there. Super Mario Jack's Pacific. You can already see that little texturing that they got right there on the figure. It looks good. It's got a little pose with his finger. Looks like you can probably hold the cap there. All right, let's spin it to the back here. All right, we have Super Mario Odyssey Mario with Cappy accessory. You got a cool pose right right there. You got some hat flippage there. Some Sonic finger pointing there. <laughs> some uh, kicking action there. 3.8 inch figure with 11 points of articulation. Collect them all. I don't know, man. Nintendo, the world of Nintendo is kind of slacking with these waves, man. This is because three of these figures have already come out. So, uh... Oh yeah, I don't know what's up with that because I mean I've already done reviews of the Koopa Troopa. I have the SH figure artist Luigi. There's already a video of up of him there too, and I have the shy guy as well. Comment below if you want to see a video of him. And we got the propeller Mario. Uh, he was not at the store, but I don't think he's came out out yet. So because you know how they did the last wave where like the raccoon Mario and the metal Mario came out first, and then it took like months and months before Hammer Brothers and uh, uh, the other Koopa Kid came out. So yeah, so I think we're just gonna have to wait a little bit before propeller Mario comes out. But I'm patient, obviously. So we can wait, and when he comes out, I'll get it and I'll do a review of him too. Okay, man. So, all right. Let's go ahead and do what we do. Crack this baby open and let's take a closer look. We'll be right back. Okay, and we are back. And now we have our Mario with Cappy out of the package. And he is looking pretty awesome, man. So, right off the bat, this is easily the, the coolest looking Mario figure the world of Nintendo has ever produced, man. Because you can see, got the uh, texturing on the overalls here to make him look like he is actually wearing jeans. You got the hair pieces here. Yeah, man. Looks good. Got the Cappy accessories here. We're actually going to move Cappy out of the way for right now. Oh, don't fall. <laughs> okay, so we got the, the uh, flip pan up here. So we got the brown hair. Uh, like I said, man, it looks, uh, it looks really good. A little bit of a uh, defect there at the top uh, right hand corner there. You see that? Uh, it's pretty noticeable, but it's definitely not crazy though like i said you know ten dollar figure so you can't be expecting the world uh got a cool little mario smile here looks good eyebrows are popping uh eye pupils look good not, not really any paint defects there like i said the texture i'm really i'm really loving this uh texturing that they got on the jeans man he looks he, he, he really does look like he just jumped out of the super mario odyssey game man looks good Boots are shiny, just like they're supposed they're, they're supposed to be. All right, let's spin them to the back here. Get that patented uh, hat, this Mario look. Got a little hair piece sticking up there. You could probably use some hair gel or something. Uh, got the back of the overalls here with the texturing. Got some product numbering there. Got the other arm here. The standard uh, World of Nintendo Mario articulation is pretty noticeable here. So those joints and everything, um, pretty uh, substandard. So let's uh, turn them to the bottom here. Let's get a look at the bottom of the shoe. Uh, you got some more product numbering here. 
Not really anything crazy. A little bit of paint defects at the bottom, but who cares? Because who's gonna see the bottom of his shoes on the shelf? So, all right. So let's take a, let's take a look at Cappy here. So right off the bat, I know y'all are probably gonna notice that little black defect on Cappy's eyeball there. Yes, I know that's uh, that's kind of unfortunate. I think I might try to take some white paint and just dot that eye real quick. So to make it not noticeable, that shouldn't be too hard, right? So yeah, I think we're definitely going to do that. So the thing about the hat, um, it's cool. I mean, he can he can hold on to it just as fine. But the unfortunate thing is when you try to put it on his head, though, uh, it doesn't really fit too, too well. So this, unfortunately, is not a wearable cabbie cap. So, yeah but he can but it, it can fit so i think it's definitely meant to go on his hand like he's like he's throwing it or just like he's holding on to it it's not meant to be wearable so keep that in mind okay so let's go ahead and run through some articulation real quick before we wrap up on this mario with cappy figure okay and we're back so so let's go ahead and take a look at some of this articulation here so with the hat can rotate uh, to the left to the right no, no uppers, no downwards. And I can't really, I cannot rotate 360 degrees either. When I push it further than that, I feel like it's gonna, it's gonna break. So I wouldn't recommend trying to push that any further. Uh, the arm can rotate 360 degrees here with the shoulder. Uh, it's got some elbow swingage here. Can go about that much. I mean, this is standard. Mario is a pretty stocky guy, so even with his body mode, you, he's definitely not going to have the most patented articulation when it translates to toy form. So, I mean, same thing with this arm here. You can rotate the shoulder. 316 if it can. Hold on. <laughs> no, there it goes. Okay, yep. Yeah. Okay, there it goes. Yeah, yeah, you can rotate that 360 degrees, push it back down. That was pretty stiff, though. Though, actually, keep that, keep that in mind. Put them into like a little punching motion here. Ka -ka, ka -ka. Yeah. Uh, so, we'll, so with his legs here, that could be pushed outwards that much. Uh, give him a knee bend that much. So you can definitely get him into like a little bit of a running pose or whatever, or like kind of like if so. But or, or if you have like a stand that you can put him into, you can probably kind of almost get him into the pose that maybe he's in on the package kind of kind of like that uh maybe <laughs> i don't know not really <laughs> so you know but no but i mean it's it's all right man it is it is it is what it is i paid i paid eight dollars for it so you know can't 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 really complain too much i guess uh so let's spin that around straighten that back out so the only other thing I really want to, I, I don't think, I don't know if this arm can like go straight down. I think it's like kind of stuck in this little uh, pose here. So like he's like holding his cappy hat up. So, so yeah, keep that in mind too. <laughs> so it's kind of, I say it's like more of like a statue slash action figure sort of. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, of course his wrist can rotate 360 degrees too. So yeah. Okay, so let's do some quick size comparisons real, uh, real quick here. I, I also brought up the um, SH Figure Arts Mario 2 so you can get a scope of how big he is compared to, to that. So, uh, pretty much the same, the same size, which is to be expected. So, yeah, man. Looks fine. Same size. Then I also brought up my custom World of Nintendo Metal Mario 2. So, I mean, as you can see, I mean, he fits in scale to size to the other Mario's and the other Nintendo characters within the six inch line. So, so yeah. All right, man, I think that's going to about wrap it up, honestly. So, I mean, obviously this is uh, Super Mario Odyssey was easily my game of the year last year. Uh, I loved every minute of it and any... Uh, uh, action figure form of Mario with Cappy, I knew I was going to get. I mean, it would be cool if SH Figure Arts or Figma could take it on too and maybe give us some more articulated form of it like the SH Figure Arts Mario, but uh, this will happily go on my shelf for the time being. So, all right, man. So, if you enjoyed the video, do me a favor and hit that like button. I would really appreciate it. And if you want to support the channel, we cover a ton of Super Mario Brothers content, Super Smash Brothers Zelda, 
Sonic the Hedgehog, video games in general, anime, movies, and all the like. You can follow me at youtube.com slash martinjack79 and facebook.com slash martinjack79. As always, I hope to see everybody on the next one. So stay, stay tuned because I definitely have a, a review of Spider-Man coming up and I have a review of the new Black Series Darth Vader coming up soon too. And I just picked up Tomb Raider too, so I'm going to be playing through that as well. So yeah, stay tuned man. There's plenty of stuff coming towards the channel. So definitely hoping to keep you guys entertained and until then i will catch you guys on the next one i'll see you guys later bye